vision. None of my doctors actually offered me zero type of counseling. And I think that's a little concerning. Here I am almost 12 years later. And I'm thinking about that. And I'm just like, y'all didn't offer me counseling. Y'all didn't offer me counseling. And I have went through vision loss literally overnight. I got all of the best doctors that Indianapolis, Indiana could provide me at that time in 2012. And I didn't get no help mentally. It took me to go to the blind school and for those counselors to realize homegirl got some real deep suited issues and we probably should help her out. They put me on a medication. It made me not think. I had no thought in my head. Y'all, I overthink. I'm a thinker. I, I, that's me. That's who I am. <laughs> but I'm looking at my situation now 12 years later and I'm like, maybe I should have gotten some counseling before I left that hospital, before I had my surgery, before my spinal tap. Instead, I got the chaplain who came in my room an hour before it was time for me to go to get surgery. My optic nerve sheath, yeah, yeah, they put a chaplain in my room and he was like praying and you know, it was very emotional. And I understood it from that aspect at 16, but here I am at 27. And, I, and I'm thinking about, maybe I got, maybe I got jib there mentally because it took me years on years on years, like three, four years after vision loss to really gain that that sense of like, okay, you're calm, you're good, you're fine, you're, you're not depressed about this anymore. This isn't something that makes you cry at sleep every single night, you know what I'm saying? Well, make, make yourself cry to sleep cry yourself to sleep oh my god i can't talk but i feel like that was one thing my doctors did wrong when i lost my vision they didn't give me medical mental medical help okay